What's up guys, welcome to today's video. Today we got a pretty cool one. So we've seen a bunch of talk in the archery slash bow hunting community about people doing penetration and fixed blade versus mechanical. We've seen everybody doing it three, four, five feet away. Nobody's ever done it at distance. So today we're gonna test a G5 Montec versus a dead meat at 20 yards to see what penetration would be. We're gonna do a bow test. We're gonna weigh out the arrows and we're gonna show you guys what bow we're using, the poundage, stuff like that. So let's weigh our arrows real quick and then we'll show you guys the bow. So the first broadhead is the mechanical broadhead, the G5 dead meat. And then the fixed blade we're gonna shoot is the G5 Montec. So we're gonna weigh these out. So we're sitting at about 486.4 grains for the dead meat. The G5 Montec is 490.8 grains. So they're pretty much the same in weight. We're gonna do a draw weight on the Matthews phase four. Sixty-five point seven eight. We're shooting the dead meat V2s out of the Phase Four Matthews at sixty-five pounds at a distance of twenty yards at the ballistic gel, and then we're going to compare that to the Montec G5 fixed blade. Sixty-five point seven Well, did you hit it? I hit it. It's a touch high. Let's go check it out. Oh, that's freaking cool. Oh, that's not bad at all. That is cool. Dude, look at that entry. All full deployment on the entry. I predict the Montec will go touch shorter. I think it'll go a touch shorter. What about you? Uh. I mean, I think it'll go shorter too, but I think maybe like an inch and a half shorter. All variables are the same. The only thing that we've changed is the broadhead, which is the Montec by G5. It is a fixed blade, but uh, everything else is the exact same. I'm gonna see if I can't shoot a little bit lower so that we can get some good penetration here. Beside it. Okay. What's up? Oh, it's perfect, dude. Perfect. Look at that. It went farther. It did go further. I did not expect that at all. There's your mechanical, and here's your fixed blade. I mean, there's an obvious difference there on entry holes. Yeah, those blades are an inch on the uh, dead meat. So, I mean, that begs the question of which one you want to choose, right? Yeah. Because more penetration means that you can get further out of the deer and potentially have a through and through, which is what you want, but your hole's smaller. And then- So you're the cutting exact, us. Right, so then your exact opposite with your mechanical, you have a way bigger opening, but you're sacrificing some depth. So from the end here to the very tip, looks like 11 and 3 eighths. And then on your fixed blade, 12 and a half. So, so a little over an inch. So I was wrong. We both were. Well guys, that concludes the test. What I thought was gonna happen didn't happen. I didn't think the fixed blade was gonna go as far as the mechanical. Yeah, oh. same. You didn't think so I, either? I thought it was gonna go about an inch and a half uh, further back from the uh, from the mechanical, but the fixed blade wins. Fixed blade wins. That was at 65 pounds with the phase four Matthews. So keep that in mind, whatever you're shooting, it could vary. But that was at 20 yards. And that was with all variables exactly the same. Mm -hmm. uh, same bow, same shooter, same arrow, same distance. The only thing we changed was the, broadhead. Was, the, was the broadhead. So this is the best results that we can give you. Comment down below what you guys thought was gonna win. And if you guys like to see more videos like this where we test some stuff out, don't forget to like the video and subscribe. I'll we'll see you guys in the next one. Deer scenes around the corner. Peace. All right, so we got a bonus broadhead. We're doing the turkey rage in the cage.
broadhead. It is what, two inch blades, but we're just gonna shoot it just to see what it does, have a little fun with it. Give you guys a little bonus. We're shooting with a 60 pound bear. Dude. Oh man, it doesn't look like it opened all the way. Nope, it didn't open. Yeah, it started to deploy. It started to, you can see where it cut off the, off the collar. So that's the Rage Turkey Broadhead. Didn't penetrate nearly as much as either the G5 or the Dead Meat. Well, that's cool to know for turkey season. Hope you guys enjoyed the bonus turkey broadhead. We'll see you guys in the next one. I pulled it. <laughs> At least we didn't hit it. Take two. <laughs> Lord Jesus, please help me hit this. I just cut the strap. I'm done shooting this bow dog. I owe you a new strap. I'm done with it. I'm done with it. I'm done with it. We're gonna have to do that again. I'm gonna hit it this time. I believe you. Four's my lucky number. All right, I'm done. All left, every time. <laughs>